Marie Michelle. And I'm a science teacher majoring in biology. These are the objectives and introduction of my science experiment. At the end of the activity, students should be able to create, test, and understand bioplastic made from gelatin. To create means to produce raw bioplastic using gelatin as its main component for the products such as plastic. To test means to engage in the engineering design and testing process in making their gelatin bioplastic. And number three, to understand which means to demonstrate an understanding of the factors that affect bioplastic characteristics. There are many types of plastics used in our everyday life. However, most plastic ends up in landfills and stays there because it is not biodegradable. One of the great challenges of the modern era is to develop inexpensive, durable, and biodegradable plastic made from renewable sources. Gelatin plastic has long been explored as safer and more biodegradable product for food packaging, more environmentally friendly alternative to the plastic used today, and could serve as a possible solution to the global plastic epidemic. These were the materials used in our experiment. A cooking pot, cell phone or camera for taking pictures or videos, baking pan, measuring spoon and dropper, gelatin, which can be bought at a local grocery store, measuring cup, liquid glycerin, which can be bought at a local drugstore, and stove for heating. We will also need glue, scissors, and gardening seeds. Food dyes can also be used, but they are optional. Before starting, it is important to take note of the pre-laboratory guidelines. First, let the parents know that the experiment will be using gas stoves in medium heat and that the output will need 2-4 to four days to dry. These are the procedures. First, we need to measure the ingredients. Then we combine the ingredients by heating the solution on a stove in medium heat, gradually adding up the gelatin. The next step is to carefully pour the solution to the baking pan or baking tray. Then embed it with small seeds such as tomato seeds or pechay seeds. Let it cool. Leave the plastic until it is fully dry and the edges are starting to peel off. It takes 3-4 to four days for the plastic to dry. For the last step, make your own design on how you want your plastic to be the plastic of the future. These are the steps made for HPE implementation. Step 1. Secure approval letter from our school head and secure parents' consent. For steps 2 and 3, group chats for students were created as well as conducting meeting with parents and students via Google Meet. During the meeting, it is important to discuss the materials to be used and everything that the students will be performing in the experiment. It is also important to remind them constantly of the pre and post laboratory guidelines for safety purposes. Step 4. Sending detailed instruction manual and activity sheet. Step 5. Provision of Google Drive link where students could upload their outputs and Step 6. Provision of Evaluation Link Survey. These are the outputs made by the students. Now for the evaluation results. The results shown in this video were taken from the evaluation link survey provided for the students after their experiment. The first part is about the participation consent and confidentiality agreement. These were the questions. All students who responded agreed to the questions asked. The next part of the survey involves Student Perception Questionnaire, which was adapted from the HBE Micro Training. These were the results. The blue bars pertains to the students who strongly agreed, while the red bars were the students who agreed. The next part of the survey is the congruency with the topic Climate Change. 
with the questions also adapted from the HPE micro training sample evaluation. These were the results. The blue bars pertains to the students who strongly agreed, while the red bars were the students who agreed. The next part was about the students' overall experience with the entire experiment process. These were the results. The blue bars pertains to the students who strongly agreed, while the red bars were the students who agreed. The yellow bar pertains to a student who disagreed on the question that the HPE was challenging. These were the students' feedback with the question, what are the challenges you encountered and how did you address these challenges? These were some of the students' feedback with the question, if you were to improve your gelatin bioplastic, what would you change or modify and why? These were some of the students' relevant pieces of evidence and learning from responding to the question, what is the most important thing I learned personally in this activity? For possible modifications of the bioplastic mixture, it would be the reduction of the amount of the original recipe to half the size, add more gelatin, and add more glycerin. For the implementation, it would be modification of instructions, provide more bioplastic output examples to students, add guidelines on making a video presentation and provision of rationale to each ingredient used. Recently, I have tackled the topic climate change in my class and I have always been passionate about educating the young minds on what can be done to save our earth and lessen the effect of climate change. This HP training gave me the opportunity to give my students a hands-on experiment on learning how to make bioplastic using gelatin. Plastic waste and microplastics have always been a major problem in our environment, and this experiment is a step forward to save our planet. I want my students to utilize some items easily found at home and put it to good use. I am truly grateful for this experience because I was able to improve myself and at the same time share my knowledge to my students.